A family called me, and it was the father who called me, and he said that there was a horrible accident. His daughter's pug was stepped on, and they took him to the emergency room, but he was paralyzed from the waist down. They were heartbroken giving him up. It's hard because some people's opinion was like, how could they give him up? Not many families, especially in this recession, could pay thousands of dollars for his therapy. It would have been almost a selfish choice to keep him and not get him the care he needs. But I want someone to want him now. If he ever gets to the point where he's quote normal, I want someone that loved him before that. The first time I met Pepe was out here at Pug Nation. My manager, Gwen, was fostering him, and at one point, you know, she has her own business and her own dogs, and she just couldn't foster him anymore. So I decided to foster him, and never thought that a month later I would be like, he's mine. Just fell in love with him so hard, and I just couldn't even think of giving him up. Being that I work at Pug Nation, and I have the support of Gwen, my manager, and I have the support of my co-workers. I'm able to bring him to work with me every day so he's never left alone. And I have plenty of other dogs that he could have fun with and spend time with. And everyone thought it was a perfect fit. My relationship with Pepe is very special. We do everything together. He relies on me for so much. The way that I feel about Pepe is I love him 110% the way that he is. And I could care less if he ever walked again. I would love for him to walk again for his own sake, but you know, nothing holds him back and he doesn't know he's any different. I make him top priority and I wouldn't change a thing about him.